Mm. Okay, let's go to the program. So we have written ng model here. So that's why the checkbox is by default checked because switch is true. So this checkbox ng model is by default checked. So we will remove it from here and we will give to this button so that the ng model will control this button. So whenever our form loads the <laughs> switch by default variable is true. So ng model of this button is switch. So this button will indicate indicated by this switch variable. So here I given the ng disabled the variable is switch. So it is true then on the form load the button will be disabled. And whenever I will click on that checkbox then the set button function will be called and it will convert switch equal to true to switch equal to false and then ng disabled, disabled will be false and then the button will be enabled. Okay. See now the button will be now the button is enabled uncheck the button is disabled okay so you know now you know what is ng disabled now we will write a validation program the same copy this form and I will write another program for validation here the ng model is switch okay now I will write a text box create a text box remove this one remove this one also give the ng model equal to user okay user another one email this is the username okay this is the email give the text box ID name as user and the text box email name is email ok save it user dot html okay now <coughs> I will write a span tag let's uh, write a paragraph create a paragraph
create another paragraph okay now <coughs> write a span tag and give the color as red and I will write another span tag now okay here I have to give style style equal to okay so remove this text okay now now it is okay now I will write ng so this is the directive now I will leave it blank and this is not the text this is the email HTML email email okay now here also the same copy it okay another tag okay okay now about angular just validation api so this is the text box name user okay so I will write okay now create write a form tag and give the uh, ideas name equal to my form okay and end this one form okay now I will remove this one write as uh, user controller CTRL okay now in, I have written ng controller user as user controller but I have wrote, not written the functionality I will write it now in the ng so we have some of the APIs like uh, my form dot user dot required so, okay so in this way same here also here it will be email this one okay it will be invalid
ओके रिक्वायर्ड एंड इनवैलिड लेट्स चेक इट वेर इज दैट वन यूजर सो लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स वी हैव टू डू सो इन दैट बटन ऑल्सो वी हैव टू राइट सो हियर Uh, I missed one thing. Here I have to write dollar error. Here also dollar error. Dollar error. Now here I already written email required and invalid email ID. Okay. so this will work as a validation uh messages so okay here also the validation message is username required so now <coughs> we will check it save it check it see now we can see the validation messages when i will try it is going away the messages is going away here i'm typing typing but it is showing as invalid email id so i will write as mail to pramin at gmail dot com okay this is my email id so whenever you have any questions regarding this angular js you can mail me in this address so okay now if there is any in invalid email id entered or the text box left blank then then the button should be in uh, disabled okay and you can see this is the form level validation okay so i told that no validate no validate will take out this form level one so how i will type here no validate Now refresh it. It's not going. There is something, some problem in this browser, but it will go definitely after writing no validate. Okay, so that's not our concern. That's our concern is the Angular JS validation. <coughs> so. the button enable and disable so we will copy these things email and user error apis here is my form dot user dollar error required if the text box left blank then it will pass as true to disable this button or email left blank it will pass as to to disable the button or the email is invalid error dot email then it will it will pass as true to disable the button let's see okay now we should, uh, we need okay so username is required see okay so we need some default data for this program here already i am calling user controller 
okay some default data dollar uh, scope dot user uh, is Durga soft okay and the email is equal to mail to pramin at gmail.com okay so we'll get the default data oh sorry this is as email okay now see the button is enabled once I will remove this one you can see the button is disabled and there is some error message as username required okay okay I will write okay now gone the button is enabled and let's see this is the invalid email id oh the button is disabled okay otherwise i will leave it blank then also the button is disabled okay at gmail.com now the button is enabled hope you like this program program and you'll try at home this program is very important in that in the real-time AngularJS applications as we'll do our client-side validation so I will tell you from the beginning see I have taken a form name is form name after that the controller normally for default values okay and I've taken a input box with a span tag with style color red and in the span tag ng so the validation error as required for username required as you will leave blank or you will not type anything or you will leave it then it will pop up this message or it will uh, show this message username required in red color in the same manner email required and this is for invalid email if you type an invalid email and I given this error messages to APIs to this disable button if any of this will so then here we will get as true and the button and the button will be disabled okay so hope you understand this validation and the angular just form that's for the day